Hey everybody, all about fishing with Big Kev. Hey, stay tuned. I'm going to talk to you about H&H &H spinners. This is a lure I'm always talking to you in my videos about. You will never go wrong with it. Hey everyone, all about fishing with Big Kev. Hey, you guys have been watching my videos on all my bass fishing and uh, catching white bass. We get into the schools of white bass and the shad boils and farm pond fishing, catching largemouth bass. Um, heck, we've even caught a couple blue cat with them. But I'm always talking about the H&H &H spinner. And so I realized that I hadn't really shown you guys a lot about the H&H. &H. I always talk about it. But this is kind of what I'm what I'm showing you. It's an H and H spinner. This is how it's packaged and sold. Um, this is a two blade double spinner in a chartreuse and white. Um, here's a willow. These are three eighths ounce willow white willow blade with a white skirt. There's a two blade in a white. There's their yellow in a single blade. But I wanted to show you these, these spinners and I kind of wanted to explain them a little bit because uh, I, you hear me yell about them constantly on the boat. H&H &H spinner doing their job. Well, they do. I'll tell you, for any kind of spinner I got on my boat, I religiously use H&H &H spinners. The quality in the spinner is that good. I've had the best luck with H&H. &H. They're simple, but effective. Extremely effective spinner. And uh, here's the dual blade, uh, white. But when you open it up, the hook is separate of the body and the skirt. So what you gotta do is the hook, I, I put mine this way with the hooks up, instead of this way with the hooks down. Uh, I don't want it down, I want the hooks up. So in the back of the skirt here, there's a there's an eye. Stick your hook in and it barely just sits in, just like that. See how that hook sits in there? On that skirt. So when you're pulling this through the water, you're you're basically that hooks up like that and that spinner blades sickling around through there. And I'm gonna tell you, they're very simple. I mean very simple looking lure highly effective bass fishing on the ponds you'll tear them up watch my video with taking my grandkids out to the farm i mean we're just hitting largemouth after largemouth after largemouth and we're throwing h and h spinners and then uh watch my videos out at milford canopolis lake religiously using these spinners because they work throwing into the rocks pulling them out white bass smallmouth you name it. So I wanted to show you the H and H, show you kind of what you got to do and how it goes together by putting your hooks on. Um, again, the they slip through an eye. Your hook is here. Here's the eye in the back of the in the back of the uh, see that eye right there. And you just stick that hook in there, pull it through. And that's all it is to it. Tie on right here. And uh, you're set. And very durable lure. They last a really long time. Um, I've got some in my box. I pre-make these up so I don't have this trash laying around on the, on the ground or in my boat. And uh, uh, I put them in a, in a tackle sleeve, you know, multiple different colors uh, you know again here's the willow blade it comes with a willow here's a dual uh, chartreuse and white again this is their their yellow so this is a yellow single spinner so uh, 
H and H is what we use. I'm telling you, you can get them at H and H uh, lures on on the web, um, and some of your uh, larger uh, sporting goods stores have them. Um, I'm sure there's some smaller mom and pop tackle shops that are carrying them. Um, I believe they're out of uh, Louisiana, I believe. But uh, uh, awesome lure. And three and a half, four dollars. Can't beat it. So I put a bunch of these in the boat, and uh, brother in law's hooked on them. In fact, a brother in law in Oklahoma is the one who told me about them. He uses them all the time down there in Oklahoma. and and just tears them up down there. And we've took them to Table Rock, uh, Lake Eufaula, lakes here in Kansas, you name it, and they're working like champ. So H&H &H Lures, check them out. You won't go wrong with them. Like I said, when you look in the videos, we're throwing those constantly. And white seems to be working with all the shad we got in our lakes right now. Uh, and those, those fish hitting those sheds and, and getting in on those windy banks. Um, and that's what's really been effective is we've been using the whites and we go to a bank that the wind is blowing into the rocks or if you're on the shore you got the wind blowing you in the face and if you're if you're on the shore cast cast into the wind and reel back to the rocks those fit those bait are being blown back into them rocks and those bait those those bass and those fish are just sitting in there it's just like the smorgasbord coming to you and you're just sitting at the dining table and uh, so if you're in a boat you got to throw to the rocks and pull back to the boat and you'll notice that majority of your hits are going to be in that in that one foot to three foot off the shoreline or they'll bump it two or three times and then right before you get it out of the water at the boat they're going to hit it and uh, it's kind of a crazy sport. Everybody buys these high-end boats and they get as close to the shore and throw into the shore as they can and everybody on the bank is trying to throw to the middle of the lake. I, I don't understand but that's what happens. But anyway, try them out. H&H &H Lures. Um, again, multiple colors. Uh, whatever you think works in your lake, check them out. Try them out. I, th I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Hey, like and subscribe. All about fishing with Big Kev. Tight lines everyone. Take care and hope to see you on the water.